It rolled into the Strip District and has been a part of a World War II exhibit at the Heinz History Center. But now, seven months later, the Sherman tank is bound for a new destination. Dave Crawley has more. A Sherman tank rolled into Pittsburgh June 17th and took up residence near Heinz History Center during its World War II exhibit. 50,000 Sherman tanks helped to defeat Nazi forces in Europe. But after seven months on loan, this one is moving out. Well, right now we're going to take it to Fort Indian Town Gap, and there's a reenactment going on in a few days. Owner Tom Pippins of Sewickley says he fell in love with tanks as a kid. So I told my dad, hey, let's buy a tank. He said no, and so 30 years later I bought my own. This one took part in the Battle of the Bulge. We loved having it here. Museum President Andy Masick says it caught people's attention. There wasn't anyone that passed the History Center over the last six months that didn't stop and take a selfie in front of the Sherman tank. Tom Pippins maneuvers his tank onto the flatbed truck, which will carry it to its next location. Pittsburgh contributed to the design. The turret was made in Lawrenceville in 1944. Westinghouse helped make the gun stabilizer that made it possible for a Sherman tank to fire on the move. There are all kinds of Pittsburgh connections. 34 tons of tank rolls into place. The next exhibit at the History Center will be toys of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That opens in early March. And at that time, I'm not making this up, the tank will be replaced by a 20-foot inflatable Gumby. A final word. The Sherman tank has left the building. Tanks for the memories. Dave Crawley, KDKA TV News.